And David Dunstan and I have put together a, a little book called uh, Playing with Place Value that helps to try and link some of the place value equipment and place value concepts together. For example, uh, something like an arrow card or a place value card is used as, a, as an overlapping way of showing uh, the face and place value of uh, certain numbers. So for example, we've got 5,258. Now you can see if I start putting those together, I get 5,250 and 8, or I get 5,250, and then I get 5,258. But you can also see that that's made up of 5,258, or it's 5,258, or it's 5,200, and 58 and so on. So you can start to see all the partitions or splits according to place value. What I like to do however is try and link bits and pieces together. So here's a place value spinner and you see here that it's been spun and it shows 258. So then you could link that with the arrow card to show 250 and 8 and sit on top there. But I also like to also link with other materials. So for example we've still got this same number here but we could show that using base 10 materials on a place value map showing 250 and 8. You might notice that I've configured the ones according to like a uh, tens frame. So you can see the top five filled there and another three and there's two missing. So it just makes to link the gear and that helps with place value.